Hello, this video will cover how to do the units of production method um, for that schedule for the activity on the depreciation schedule. I noticed quite a few of you um, did not give the correct answer for units of production. So hopefully everyone is going through and reviewing their work before they're submitting it and so forth. So let's go ahead and get started. Click on the units of production tab. Now, yes, there are some items in here for you that calculated for the first year, 2011. Some of you might have said, well, let me just copy down what she did. Well, the thing is, is that in here in the formulas, it wasn't set up for you to automatically have the correct amount for um, the second year. Keep in mind, your accumulated depreciation is growing. It is accumulating. So you need to take your prior year balance at the current year depreciation. So this amount right here should actually be the prior year amount of 3000 added to the current year of 2400. So that will bring that up to 5400. Some of you, this is what you did. You just copy this down. So if you take the row, copy it down to the fifth year and just leave it at that, you'll see that your book value is 10840 Now that's not reasonable. It's higher than the um, book value that you had at the end of the first year, which doesn't really make sense. So make sure you're doing a reasonableness review when you're doing calculations. So um, here, we got to go and figure out what's going on here. Well, the accumulated depreciation is what? It's just having the current year's balance, not the prior year balance. So what you're going to actually need to do is go to the prior year balance, just like you were having, a, I guess, a T account. So whatever balance you have in that account, plus the current year um, credit to that accumulated depreciation, which is the current year depreciation expense. This will also help you with doing your Rocky Ram practice set. So now it's at 5400 at the end of year two. Then when you get to year three, again, you'll take the prior balance from year two at the current year amount, and it's growing. Now, because the formula is taking the prior year amount and you decide to, what, copy it down, it'll automatically fix it. And then you'll notice here, oh my gosh, I get $320 negative. That can't be. Why can't it be? Because the book value should never be less than the salvage value. So that means you would have to add up all of the um, miles that the truck was driven those first four years. This is where that 96,000 is coming from. It's the sum of B13, which is um, the location of that first 25,000. And it's adding up B13, B14, B15, all the way down to B16. So when you add those up, you get 93,000. Well, because this particular asset has a useful life of 100,000, you don't want to depreciate it beyond a hundred thousand. Well, in that last year of operations, you're talking about eighteen thousand miles. Well, eighteen thousand miles would give you twenty one two thousand one hundred six hundred two thousand one hundred sixty um, sixty dollars for depreciation expense. But it says accumulated depreciation can't be greater than twelve thousand. Well, this is obviously what greater than what twelve thousand. So that means that once it reaches 100,000 miles, which is 7,000 more miles, then we would have to stop depreciating. So what I'm going to do is, even though it was driven 18,000 miles for that year, I'm going to change that to 7,000. So 7,000 times 0.12. Well, you need to change the formula in here. That's 7,000 0.2. And what you'll notice here, if I change that 18 to 7, that depreciation should only be what? 8,400, well not 80, 840 in year 5. And what happens when it's 840? It then brings the accumulated depreciation to 12. Thousand, which brings the book value to a thousand. So this is the correct answer, what you should have had. So make sure that you're understanding how to calculate accumulated appreciation. I'm going to go ahead and draw a T account just so you can visualize this. So now that we have the T account, so again, that first entry 
for the first year's depreciation is 3000 then what another 2400 for the second year and as time grows goes the amount grows it accumulates so keep in mind that the balance of accumulated depreciation at the end of the year gets what larger and larger and larger so you got to make sure that what when you do the second row you're actually adding to the previous balance in the first year the, the balance starts off at zero so it's of course three thousand then it becomes fifty four hundred with the next posting of the uh, um, adjusting journal entry and then another twenty six forty which brings it up to the eight thousand forty and it cannot go beyond the twelve thousand again because um, your book value cannot um, go below that salvage value okay so that concludes this video hopefully this makes sense any questions you can post in chapter eight's um, discussion thread and remember today is a great day to learn accounting